now we shall continue the previous exercise and display orders table from the database we have already displayed customers data what were the steps the first step was create a class then we add mappings and then launch the query process launch the query process so this is what we are going to do now so let us start with our class we'll come to our solution explorer right click on models because we already have c users model here on the same pattern we can do it and uh, one more possibility is there we could have typed it into the same class also we can take that shortcut so we can write public class c orders and let me now consult the database i'll this is tbl orders so basically first of all i'll start writing here table name is equal to tbl orders and close it here this maps this class to the tbl orders the next property i'll have is user id so i can write public string user id i'll write user id key get set and right now i can put up the mapping here column name is equal to user id fk user id fk and similarly continue for the second order number public string order number get set and similarly i can put up the mapping here column name is equal to the name is order number order number so this fits my mapping into place now i have to display the entire records what i can do is i can create a second method here uh, this is already there uh, one thing i can do is i can make changes to this one that is one of the possibilities or i can start to write it fresh i'll do one thing i'll cut it public string get users and i'll bring here so that in case one needs to do this one then this can be called and i'll create another function instead here public string get orders and here i can start to write my orders query and i can do one thing return get orders so now i have to complete this one so i can begin to write the query using data context against the connection string then table c orders from ctxt dot get table c orders then we can write query is equal to uh, t dot select c orders and this is a dynamic that we are extracting this time this is the dynamic that we are extracting user id key is a alias and order number will be an alias all the records will be selected but they will get alias of this and this 